Uh, if you think it's over yet at the marketplace, no, it is not. Some things are still happening even in the run-up to Christmas and the New Year. The market never sleeps except on National Public Holiday. So don't be surprised as you see a new managed funds coming up on FMDQ Securities Exchange platform today. And the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer at SFS Nigeria, Capital Nigeria Limited, is joining us. That's Patrick uh, Ilondi Aya. Thank you so much for coming through from the exchange place. It's good to have you. I can see some smiles there. That smile comes when we're talking <laughs> about money. You are the one putting 500 million units of share of units of 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 of, uh, of these funds on the street. So I'm sure it's a good time for you to smile. Bringing that to the market at this point of the year, what's the incentive here for you, Patrick? Talk to me. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Um, you mentioned SSS. It's actually SFS. -S. Sugar food, sugar. Fixed sugar for sugar. I, I love um, that. So how sweet yeah. is this managed funds? <laughs> Sorry? How sweet. How sugar for sugar is this much fun? <laughs> okay. So it's a it's a fund that seeks to sort of um, guarantee your principal and um, target to always give you like a two percent premium on treasury bill interest rates. And um in this rate and in this day and age when the CBN has sort of um cost rates to drop and prevented um a lot of um, investors from accessing the market. It's very, very, um, this is the best time to bring it to the market so that investors have an alternative on where to invest in. Um, so uh, I'm uh, double A rate. And we have won the best performing fund of a business day awards three times consecutively. Also, um, the fund manager is also by two SEC registered. And there's a lot of protection. It has a custodian that's AAA rated and a SEC registered trustee. So um, we feel like this is the best time where investors are looking for where to invest in. This is the perfect time to come to the market and show exactly what we have been doing for the last three years in the market. Yes, uh, uh, Patrick, uh, this is a good time for you to also be on channel television. That's yes, Nigeria's yes. 2019. Uh, best TV station yeah. of the year by NMME Awards, which is still very fresh. Fantastic, the ink fantastic. still fresh on the paint. So, so you get in a lot of ratings. So you go, you come on a very big platform this morning to also yes. talk about this. So yes. this is good. Yes. So why FMDQ? If you're looking at the managed funds market, what's the incentive here for using the FMDQ platform? What does it give you? FMDQ, FMDQ is one of the wonderful Nigerian channels. I mean, they've sort of distinguished themselves in the fixed income market trying to sort of expand beyond the, the market. I think MDQ is an institutional emotional fund that wants to um, be extremely transparent and you want to showcase your products where you'll be constantly monitored, then FMDQ is the perfect place to be. Um, I'm, I'm very, very happy with what Coco has been doing, and I'm very, very happy with also what channels have been doing. So I think it's a perfect partnership. And, um, and we're happy that today we're on... Great. So uh, look at the mutual funds market for us. Track a bit of this for us. I'm sure uh, uh, you have a few things to say. If you look at the performance over time, what's your outlook here in terms of where we're coming from, in terms of unit trust schemes in Nigeria, and how the SEC, for example, is opening up the space, and everybody's saying, look, this is the way to go when it comes to collective investment schemes for retail investors in Nigeria, because this is us. As, uh, as simple as it can get, as you folks are trying to put it on the street, for ordinary investors, retail investors, to get in on the securities market investing. Exactly. I think year 2020 is the year for collective investment schemes for mutual funds. It's going to be difficult. Interest rates or year. As you know, the banks have a percent here many incentives or disincentives for the bank to collect money and give high interest rates. But 2020, CBN has actually uh, made it a year of the collective investment schemes because a lot of collective investment schemes will outperform bank deposits, outperform treasury bills materially. Um, because especially when you have good fund managers who understand the market, you can actually consistently deliver higher returns. So 2020 is definitely the year for the collective investment schemes. And I think the forecast is, is very, very good 
for collective investment schemes. Hence the reason why we feel that. Uh, uh, Patrick, a, a final one here. When you look at the new Yudkov uh, environment uh, in terms of what you alluded to earlier as the uh, central bank uh, uh, locking retail and the body corporate out of the NTB mark, oh, sorry, out of the open market mm -hmm. operations and open the NTB window uh, for them to, to, to do that. So in terms of what the return would likely be like moving forward, do you have any idea? Are you giving us a bit of an outlook here on this uh, managed fund? Um, I think the probability that interest uh, or the probability that they won't simply because gone, done. So we, we do apologize. So, uh, the, the, the audio there is breaking from uh, this uh, connection. <clears throat> we apologize, um, Mr. Uh, Patrick uh, Elodiaia, who is the managing director and CEO at SFS. Capital Nigeria, thank you so much for coming through on <clears throat> this mutual funds admission onto the trading platform of FMDQ Securities Exchange uh, talking to us there. Thank you so much. We apologize to our viewers for that uh, break in, in audio contact, a bit of patchy there. But of course, we got this coming through. Outlook from the yield curve. More mutual funds still coming to the market. And Patrick saying earlier that Nigeria's mutual fund market will become more interesting in 2020 as the yield curve environment begins to change and is even changing as the central bank or the financial regulator begin to drill down on segmentizing the market, seg uh, put it in different portfolios and you can decide what to choose. So everyone will be chasing where's the best to put my phone, as individuals, body corporate, PFAs and the rest of them. All of that coming through. But first, but let's uh, continue to wrap this up on the market, give you a sense of where we finished off. Yesterday came out very big early, on the green side, finish on the red side, that's for the stock market, 0.13% negative. Again, if you look at the key sectors, let's just move this page over, roll that over. In terms of volume, yes, that's getting a lot bigger because of the appetite of investors trying to eke out some gains, as it were, before they wrap up their books for the year. And the number of these is a testimony to that, more than 3,000 transactions. But if you look at the key, the big five sectors we track for you on a daily basis, because of their relevance to the market. You find industrial goods down a massive 1.02% because Danko Testament shares fell on the day. Again, you saw the report, equity research report from Chapel Hill, Demham, talking about full year 2019 estimate of Danko Testament forecasting group revenue down by 1.9%. That's their forecast there to 896.23 billion era on lower than anticipated cement prices in Nigeria. There's a bit of pressure, according to Chapel Hill Denham, this investment bank on Danko Tessimet also around operational costs because of expanded fleet of trucks with costs coming through on that. But you had consumer goods, uh, just a little bit of flat line, 0.01%. Unilever got an investment uh, equity research report saying the land border closure may help this big cap company on the market, you can read out all that up. Insurance uh, was less than one-tenth of a percent. Oil and gas, 0.15%. Investors still positive on Oando's latest deal with NLNG, 20-year contract for NLNG Train 7. That's what the big story came through uh, a few days ago. Then, of course, you flow that quickly to the... Uh, let's go to NESD very quickly. That's a comeback there for the NSI which is a 0.24% better on uh, Wednesday. But the NESZ index is yet to get <clears throat> its 700 reading back on the uh, index. Uh, finish off with me very quickly. Just a, a snapshot, a few seconds I got left. That's your fixed income market. Let's just roll that away. Uh, give me the open market operations, 152.73 billion. Today, we're expecting, uh, that's tomorrow, Thursday, maturing. About 350 billion, but that's your open market operations. Very active, really hot. 371 deals in total. Look at the NTB, 5.18 billion in Naira value. And at the Naira market for the bonds, yes, we're expecting the final auction of the year from DMO in the next couple of days. All of that together, let's put that together for you tomorrow when we return. Don't miss it. 10 o'clock in the morning, business morning, live here on Channel Television, Nigeria's news leader. I'll see you then.